This is the Samsung Propel Review Part 3. I will be doing applications. Okay, so you have several ways to access your applications. You can set up a shortcut key, meaning you would have one of these uh, D-pad keys being a shortcut. Here's my stuff. Um, you have your CV, audio, games and apps, graphics, videos, tools, other files, use space, and that's it. Here on your uh, keypad I pointed out in my last video, here you have a CV shortcut key. Um, or you could always go to the menu. Whoops, you can go over to my stuff, which is right there, and you have the same stuff. If you have a memory card, which I do, if you just scroll over to the right, you'll see uh, how much stuff audio, how many you have on your card, graphics, videos, um, etc. So, in here, you have your CV is going to be your cellular video. Audio, you have your tones, your answer tones. Um, the tones would be stuff that, like, if you uh, Bluetoothed over. Um, whoops, sorry. Um, all these things I Bluetoothed over. Oops, so take that back. Answer tones. Um, answer tones, you could um, shop, manage, and about. You would have to uh, access your browser for that. Which, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and you have your graphics, which you have your pictures and stuff. Um, which you can also Bluetooth over. You have videos, which um, you can record. Tools would include camera, recorded audio, alarms, calendar, recent calls, tasks, notes, calculator, tip calculator, converter, uh, world time, timer, stopwatch. So um, I'm going to go to the uh, converter. You have your currency, length, weight, volume, area, temperature. So, pretty nifty little handy duty thing here. Use space, it uh, tells you how much you have available and uh, how much is used, etc. There's different colored um, buttons right there telling you different applications. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them. I will answer them. Um, if you have any questions at all, contact me. I will uh, try to help you the best I can. Oh, there's one thing I do want to show y'all. Um, I had made a video earlier, uh, like a couple weeks ago when I first got this phone, and I was saying how you couldn't, when you when you got a message on... Uh, when you're on the in a phone call and I go, you got a message you can't access them, I was wrong. Um, there's a go to button right here, shortcut key. You go to your messaging right here, and you can access it. And then you can type, and then you can send. Um, and then just to return to the call, just hit that button again and scroll over to call, and it'll take you back to your call. So. Um, and then also to find out the time, because it doesn't say the time in the corner when you're on a call, um, you can either press this button right here, and it'll tell you the time in the corner when you're on a call, or you could press this button right here and go to, like, messaging or something, and it'll tell you the time. So just go to any other application. Um, you can't use this message shortcut key, and you can access your address, address book um, when you're on a phone call. So any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please leave them for me. I'll do try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Um, so, yeah, I basically did this review because um, I was looking for reviews before I got this phone, and nobody really went in-depth with the phone. So that's what I did for those people who want to get the phone or just looking at phones. So, yeah. All right. Uh,